afternoon, good morning, you lovely lot. Good evening to uh, you, wherever you are watching. Apologies for those little gremlins. As you know by now, we are worldwide, and we literally were worldwide over the last four hours anyway. You know, we are now live into beautiful beginnings, but you have had Sarah and Ben in the very next studio beaming out across America for the, U uh, the HSN USA preview. So we are here. We are now live when it comes to beautiful beginnings. We've got lots that we're going to show you and go through so do you know what before we do all that let's say hello to his going to who is going to be demonstrating galore and showing us all the incredible things and also going to be doing that demonstration didn't quite manage to do but then master class it is of course my gorgeous friend debbie robinson Yay! Know, naughty gremlins oh apparently can you hear can you hear can you hear me no, I'm no, no, come closer. Can you hear me? <laughs> you can hear you now? Yeah, I have. I've disappeared. I've, I've disappeared. Yeah. Right. The guys are coming in. They're coming in. I'll take over, yes, because what we can do is we can do all my little housework before we jump over to Debbie, because this is March, 1st of March, so that means when it comes to crafting all across the world, it's National Craft Month. So what we're doing is we're going to be doing a number of things throughout the month. However, this is all about this week, from the 1st of March up until the 5th of March. You've got the opportunity to get your hands on some Spectrum Noir tools with a 10% discount. It is across on our website. You will see the picture you will see the link and then that does mean that selective items when it comes to Spectrum Noir you're going to get 10% off now I had a look in that last show you can see it right along the bottom there there's blending tools there there is your premium watercolour card there there's premium stamping cards premium black card stock there just an abundance of Spectrum Noir tools so if you check them ones out across on the website as I say you will get 10% off now although that is up until the 5th this weekend, I'm going to be in on Sunday with Cora, and I'm going to be demonstrating on the Sunday. So all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, you've got the opportunity to get your hands, of course, on some of our Spectrum Noir pens that are for a three for two. So that's going to be on Saturday. So that's another little incentive when it comes to uh, us at Crafters Companion. But then what we have done, you'll have just seen the strap come along the bottom there as well. What we're doing is, if you purchase one of our Crafters Companion gift cards, we are then going to be giving you a £5 dollar euro voucher to spend on our website. So that's for you. So you can then purchase that gift card for someone else, but we will give you £5 dollars or euros for yourself to spend. So we've got quite a few things going, whether it's a birthday, whether it's an anniversary, whether it's just because, or whether it is within March we celebrate Mother's Day here in the UK. I know you guys stateside are in May, but if you are going to be celebrating for Mother's Day, you want to give them a little voucher then of course you can do that and then you're going to get a fiver back to you for you to spend across on our website but I do just want to say before we go straight to Debbie uh, hopefully you're watching from YouTube a few issues when it comes to Facebook so therefore I would say if you're watching on Facebook and can't watch us go to YouTube well that won't be possible because then if you're on Facebook you'll see that you can't be watching us and even then when I say what I've just said there you're not going to know <laughs> so no one's watching on Facebook yet so therefore we are only currently on YouTube I know most people prefer that. If you do prefer Facebook, then just uh, stay tuned. We'll let you know if we're back up and running soon. But yeah, we're currently just on YouTube at the moment. So you can still get in contact, get on social. We've got Susie for the rest of the evening here, but we'll read some out. But I think we're good to go over to Debbie. Yes, I think the gremlins, they're not only, they're not only wanting us not to go live on Facebook. And I mean, literally, when you think about it, two studios, same time, HSN over here, and then the microphone decided not to play as well. Um, however, we're back, we're ready, we're ready to go, and I'm going to give you a little sneaky peek into the things that we're going to be doing in this next now less than two hour show. But don't worry, we'll still cram pack, oh, wait a minute. Thank you. Almost right the first time. Cram pack. Cram pack yeah, yeah, cram pack. Everything in that we want to get in. So we're going to start with this fabulous little make that I know I was. I know there was some disappointed people there that didn't get to see how we're going to do this little gorgeous camper van gift bag so because cool. we are going to start and kick start with that one. We have also. Not as I've been doing for the last couple of days, uh, the uh, normal way, where you get this lovely slide. And, and can you see I've got a, a bit of a bounce going on yeah, there, Craig? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm going to show you a little sneaky way that you can create that lovely little bit of a bounce. 
onto there yeah. as well. So we've got the slide and pops. We've also got a lovely little nature's garden mixed bag of collections um, with a bit of gnome meets a little bit of uh -huh. daisy um and again just lots of ways and lots of inspiration that yeah. you can be able to use some of those smaller kits as well and talking of that smaller kit i have got another little spring accessory set for you on the show sure. and showing you how you can create some beautiful colored stamped images using these fabulous sets that we've got on the show for you tonight so that's some of the um planned work yeah. The planned yeah, work. Planned work. Let's see what we can get crammed in there because yes. we also have a lot of deals to get through too. Um, and it is all about beautiful beginnings, which for us, Craig, means a little bit of a, a you know, a starting kind yeah, of a journey. It's in sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Sometimes it is because we're always aware. People love to see that and a little bit stripped back, and and that's exactly where we're going to start with this. So although some of those projects might look daunting, I'm going to take you through each and every single one and show you how to put them together. Perfect. Cannot wait for that one. Also, at the end of Beautiful Beginnings, or towards the end, I will show you tomorrow's Craft Along project as well. I've got it right to the side of me here. But before we have a look at our shape cards, let's have a very quick look. As I say, we've got Susie on. We've got Monica Zen saying hello from Heart of Transylvania. Ramone, Ramonia? Romania? Oh, I'd like to go there. Really like to go there. It'd be interesting. Uh, within that one there, um, I know uh, Most Haunted done a live there a number of years ago which was fascinating to see. Lynn Blackledge is saying good evening from Isle of Wight. Mary Reno is in saying hello again, everyone. I'm from Maine. Uh, Maine. We've got Mary Pat 1000 saying good morning again from a sunny Montana. I'm all over the place today. A super active day on socials. Hasn't it been just? Yeah, because that's not the end. That's not the end. Certainly not here in the UK, because what you will find is you're then going to find Sarah on QVC UK. I think it's about nine, nine o'clock, I believe it is tonight. Nine o'clock, which you will be able to watch all over the world just by going on to QVC UK website. However, she is here on uh, QVC UK at 9 p.m. We've got Alicia saying it's Craft Month, yay! It's the most wonderful time of the year, isn't it? Just it really, really is that and Christmas and my birthday. Lois is saying good afternoon, everyone from Ohio. LGM is saying good morning from San Jose, California. Lynn Price is saying good evening, everyone from Norfolk. And we've got one more there. We've got Michelle Parson on YouTube saying, it looks like CC have been too hot, hot, hot today. <laughs> they have sizzled all of their electric wires. So it's, it's like it's non-stop, non-stop. And Zoe Carver on YouTube is saying, maybe I could pretend the dog has brought, bought me a Mother's Day present and get a gift card. Why not? Go for it. You know, dogs, animals, cats, pets, they're all our family. So yeah, they can give you a gift. <laughs> Any questions, anything, get them through to Susie. We'll read them out throughout the show. We do have Johnny in the building. We do have Jamie in the building. And I think George is running about somewhere in the building as well. So don't be surprised if you see him like run back underneath or something, try to sort our tables. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen in beautiful beginnings. But let's have a very quick look at these so we can go straight to Debbie here. It is the shape card based die. So this is giving you stamps as well. 54 dies, 29 stamps. These enable you to create, funny enough, your shaped cards, £35 or $44. If your platinum, it is going to come down to £28 or $35.20. And you have then got the beautiful, if the shoe fits. Straight away, I'm thinking our shedless red glitter card. We look gorgeous, Ooh, like yeah. a Dorothy shoe. Oh, you could yes. Use, yeah, yeah. Or mix them up, do a little bit of fussy cutting around some bits and you could do that mirror red and the glitter red, maybe. Oh. You could do that, yeah, maybe, you know. Got a heel like that myself. <laughs> or you might just want to go sat and then keep it very sophisticated. Maybe. But then you've got all your embellishment dies too to decorate and you've got the stamps that work in conjunction when it comes to the sayings. We've also got classy and fabulous. This should have Debbie Robinson written oh, all over absolutely. this bag here. Now within this bag as well, you know, you could go classy, you can go flamboyant if you want to. You can then, you can go in and men's theme it as well if you want to, of course you could. You've got that one with all of those sentiments and then um, potentially one of the most favourites ever since we launched this collection to so many of you. We've got the camper van, or this one is Busy Camping. So much, the detail that you can create when it comes to this camper van is phenomenal. You've got the windows, you've got the doors, you've got the wheels, you've got the rims, so much more, including the stamps. All of that 
as I said, £35 or $44. The platinum price does come down to £28 or $35.20. It is all on the website, as well as everything else and so much more that we're going to be showing within Beautiful Beginnings. But then you can always go back and have a look to see what Debbie and Ben had on Wake Up Call, then myself and Debbie with a masterclass earlier on. And then talking about Masterclass, we're kind of just taking the end of Masterclass over into the beginning of Beautiful Beginnings, where Debbie's away to have a look at that incredible camper van. And I do smell some candles. Oh, yes, absolutely. You've got, to have a, you've got to have a candle or two, haven't we, in his life, Craig? Now, when a standard card base just doesn't cut it for you, just doesn't do, what better way than creating mm -hmm. something with a big wow factor because that's what these do and they absolutely do whether you're going for the, well i'm saying going for the shoe going for the, you're getting them all yes yeah getting them all now you can use them on the standard cards as we talked about very i feel like it were a lifetime ago craig it does uh, feel like way that. back when uh back to not only masterclass but way back when to the back of the wake-up call as well where you can use them as toppers to your mm -hmm. card bases if you want your standard card bases but these really are fabulous these are the shaped card bases and I'm going to show you how to create that lovely gift bag so we are using a possibly one of the most funnest dies I think we've ever done uh, which is this fabulous camper van you've got the outline die that is going to create your card base now because I'm using this in a slightly different way and I'm using it as a gift bag we're going to cut it out as a solid rather than a card base um, if you saw the shoe one this morning um, you'll understand what we mean by a shaped card base and I'll talk you through some samples in a minute okay, go. I've got some green cardstock Craig and I've got some white multi-purpose cardstock I've also got this door here and I said door it is a door because it's got this this edge here the outside cutting edge starts from this end all the way around and stops at the top so that bit is giving you the opportunity to, to have a open door so I'm going to pop that just down onto there you okay. can position your door wherever you want it can be at the top it, yeah, honestly it's Anywhere, entirely up yeah. to you I always look at it though because I look at this and in terms of this die this is like your front section of your vehicle um, so when you take a look at this die, it fits into there. So this is how I look at it when I'm placing. And in terms of it, when you've got yours home, think about your placements. Don't worry about it because obviously it'll sit over the top. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking about where to place your door so that you're not going too far over, Craig, okay. just pop that down as a little guide as to where it is. Lift it back off and then you know you can stick that down and you know you're good to go in terms of where you want that's your tip, van yeah. to be. So that for me is just like a little top tip on how to uh, place your door um, in the right place. And But again, saying that, you don't have to use the door die. You could keep it as a solid one. Just have that's your windows true, yeah. in there if you want. So again, lots of capabilities, lots of possibilities. And then we're going to just run this through our die cutting machine. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I'm going to try it, first of all, without the extra pressure. It is quite a standard die right. in terms of a one shape yeah. and no intricate parts into the middle. So I'm just going to try that, Craig. Turn okay. that over. And if I know it hasn't cut, which I can just see down here, it's missed. So I know now I can go in and I can add the magnetic shim. Okay. Try, you, try it without first on your machine. If it hasn't cut, there is no... Do you know, we talk about it sometimes, and it's almost like we talk about it. If you don't pass it first time, it's failed as a mm -hmm, machine. Mm -hmm. No, it's no, not. No. Sometimes you just need to think about the pressure, you need to think about your sandwich combination, and you need to think about your cardstock, because your cardstock will make a difference as well. Yeah. So, now we've cut the card base, we take that off, and then, literally, we have got... If I just remove that low tack tape... Okay. We have got the second piece that i need to take off there i can see i can see you is that ben is ben. that ben teasing us ben. is that ben teasing us uh he is waving away look at him he's coming in come on oh, look come on come on come on there's a bit of a deal going off tomorrow take a look quick 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 headlock yeah bit of a, bit of a, um, I'm it's been at the gem it's been at the gem <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah. your butt's going down. Your what's going down? My butt's going down, apparently. <laughs> well, I can't say the other word, can I? <laughs> what? No, like a donkey. Oh, no, you can't say that. Can't say that. No. no. I'm going to lay the smack down on all of your candy. <laughs> Donkeys. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you tomorrow. Have a great show, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Right, stop interrupting <laughs> Debbie.
could have a reenactment of Titanic here. Oh, funny enough, done that. Are you all looking forward to tomorrow's big showdown? Big cartload. There's a little bit of a competition going off, you know, between these two boys and cartloads. Who's got their best cartload? Who's got the best deals? Um, they've both been having a little bit of a... Oh, yeah, we've, a little, we've been having jibes at yeah, each other. little jibes at each other, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got to tune in, because I think, Craig... You know, I, you know I love you, Mr M. Oh! You know I love you, Mr. M. Well, you know I love you to bits. You and want you a Ben and Craig you sandwich? You You've been talking about that oh, lately as well, haven't you? <laughs> that I'm the meeting between the two boys sandwich. What a sandwich. Oh, yes, what a sandwich. What a sandwich. Uh, but I have seen his poll. Mm. So all I'm going to say is, you're going to have to pull it out of the bag. You've, You've seen his what? It's Paul. Paul. Oh, it's Paul. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> that was Paul, everyone. Paul. That is a poll. <laughs> that is, that's what we call our product list. Yes, you yes, for a yes. minute. <laughs> what are you saying? You've seen his so poll. So I've seen his poll right. with everything on it mm. and all the deals he's bringing. Mm. So all I'm going to say, Mr Mosby, mm. as much as I love you, yeah. you're going to have to pull it out of the bag next week, mate. Go on, okay. that's what I'm going to say. Because he's got a, he's got a stonker tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two like? Yeah, my poll is big tomorrow week, you see. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> Sorry, what were you doing, Debbie, there? Sorry, we interrupted you there. <laughs> Even I've gone. About 1,000 degrees in here now. Uh, right, Craig, shall we bring it back into the room? It's all about the craft. It's all about the craft. Uh, whilst you two were busy play fighting over there, I ran Excuse another ship. Me? Oh, you don't say that to a <laughs> WWE superstar. <laughs> We have created a second base. So I've done this time, but removed the door. So the door has been taken off the hinges, so to speak. We wanted a nice, solid it's like base. like show. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, Craig, absolutely. Uh, now, this is going to form the back of the card, or I say, in this case, a gift box, and the front of the gift box. That is basically the two pieces. Okay. However, I need to sandwich something in the middle. And I'm not talking Mr Mosby or Craig. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I know I'm not. I'm talking our box. Right, and I'll okay give dog. you the measurements yeah. because this is a lot simpler than it looks. So I've got two pieces of um, all-purpose, multi-purpose... Uh, wait a minute. All... Wait a minute. Multi... Multi-purpose. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Multi-purpose cardstock. And these have got two pieces. Now, they measure in two different ways. So I'm going to give you the measurements because one is six by five and a half. And I've actually, in fact, I tell you, I'm going to give you the exact measurements so you can get this right. Because, of course, this little bit, you could, you, could, you could actually cater it to fit your own kind of size there. But I'll give you the exact measurements. So we've got two pieces. The slider base, because if you think about this card, I'm just going to bring it back in just for a second. The slider base. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the box that's holding it all together, because that's where it's all glued onto. It's okay. like a little matchbox where we've put that onto there. So for the slider base, this is, um, get this right again, two and seven eighths by seven and a quarter. And I've scored it all the way around on all four sides at five and an eighths of an inch. Now, if people are saying to me, I have absolutely no idea what five and an eighths of an inch is. Okay. I'm just going to bring it in for you just for a second. When you take your scoreboard, go onto the inches side because you've got an, a, an eighth of an inch increment okay. into there and you will just count up one, two, three, four, five, all the way down on both sides. So that's how you can create your slider base. And I'll just repeat that slider base for you again. This measures at two and seven eighths by seven and a quarter. And then you go again at that five and a uh, five and an eighth of an inch like I've just shown you on that mm -hmm. board, to create that. And then just treat it like a normal box. Because all I've done is I've taken my little scissors and I've snipped up to that very first score line and then given it that little bit of a... I call it the Katie Corner, but you know where you just give it a little bit of an angle? What corner, sorry? A Katie Corner. Katie Corner. A Katie Corner. Do you know, like, when you just go in a little bit and just... Oh, no, I've never heard of it. Katie Corner. Have you not heard of no. being like that? What do you call it? Just, like, a little nick. A little nick. A little slither. K yeah, Katie yeah. and Katie A and little Nick. slither. Yeah. Yeah, well, well whatever you call well, that's it, Craig. Yeah. Oh, that's, a new, that's a new one. No, I've never heard that before. So that's the first one. Now, the box wrap itself, because this is a wrap, and if you look at it how I've already scored it, the wrap itself measures five and a quarter by six inches. And then you're scoring it at that five and an eighth of a quarter again, at two and three eighths, at three and at four and five eighths. 
and I will repeat that for you. It is measuring at five and a quarter by six. You're scoring it at five eighths of an inch, two and three eighths of an inch, three inches, four and five eighths of an inch. And it creates this lovely little wrap. Now this wrap just fits perfectly for this particular box. You can make it a little bit easier on yourself. All you need to think about is your slide a bit, your top bit, but that's the measurements for these. And I'm just gonna create that right now before we start sticking all our bits together. So you can see how this works and how you then can fill it with possibly chocolates. Um, what we know we won't fit in there. And as long as she's not within earshot, won't fit in white Cadbury's cream eggs. Oh, oh, we've got see, to see it oh, quietly oh, because of our Tracy. That has caused an absolute hullabaloo oh, in between live shows. It did. Yes, it did. Go on, Craig, you explain while I'm just sticking this together. You well, can no, because if I explain, Jamie never got one. Uh-oh. And now Jamie's in the Oh, no! Oh, I've just outed you. You've just, you you're, oh, I'm so sorry, Craig. Johnny outed me earlier on with Tracy. Oh, no! Now, you've gone and done it here with, with, uh -oh. uh, with Jamie there. I am going to bring in more. Oh, oh. So Jamie oh. has eaten a full bag of jelly babies and feels sick. So I bought a five pack and I had one and, and I, I gave one to uh, a couple of people. And then only had, I had, well, I had two left, one for me because I was keeping one for myself and one left. And Johnny walked past. I was like, Johnny, would you like a white Cadbury's cream egg? Because I gave, um, well, yeah, apart from, so I kept one for myself. Other than that, it was the last one. I gave uh, I gave Debbie one, uh, I gave Brent one. And then Johnny decided to just make it common knowledge in front of Tracy. Tracy ate some. Yeah, she did. She saw Johnny she coming did. to get it and realised I was being shifty right in the back of the kitchen <laughs> and realised what was happening. And she's not very, very funny. And at this time, <laughs> no one realised that Brent had one. And Brent came at the window, who was helping Ben and Sarah, was like, I've got one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know. So, yes. So, let me just reiterate, this won't fit in no. your white chocolate eggs, but it will, however, fit your candles into there. And that's how you create the slider box, almost like a matchbox, if you look at it. In fact, that's exactly what it is. And then you can attach to the front and to the back your um, image, but we're going we're gonna to lay it on the flat part of it so that the actual matchbox is going to come out on the side. But we need to decorate. So, this is when you can decorate both sides. Depends on the full view. If you want to give it a full 360, then you're going to decorate both of these. But you you have got all these fabulous dies to create all of the decoration. When I talk about the decoration, we're talking the wheel trim. Mm -hmm. And this wheel trim, I love these. This is what I love. It's the attention to detail. It's the wheel trim as a piece. When I just okay. bring that in for you for a second, and I'll fetch all my bits in in a, in a moment, but it actually fits perfectly over the so top. And you don't pop that on top. You're going to cut it into some different colours. The same with your side trim as well. So you've got two that can create side trims as well. You've got your windows. You've You've got your front part of your caravan that you're going to cut out into your patterned cardstock that will fit perfectly over the top like so. You've got all of these extras. This is going to be your bunting rain here and the bunting pieces. Mm -hmm. You've got your wheels as well with the middle pieces. You've got absolutely everything down to the curtain detail. When I say absolutely everything, Craig, I mean you absolutely do, everything. Because I'm going to come in now and just show you all the pieces that I have already pre-die cut. Let's just get those out of the way. You know those strips that you just showed, those two straight line dies? Yep. You know what I'm just thinking? Earlier what are you on, thinking? You showed the ribbon threading dies. Yep. Cut them into, as you've just done there, and yep. then thread them through your ribbon threading dies. Yep, exactly. But look, it cuts out all your pieces. So it does. This is going to be perfect for all your bit boxes and things like that, um, even down to that detail of the wheel trim. And then, and then, you've even got the middle bit. Now, what do you call those middle bits again? Trophy, trophy what is? Do you know the middle bits of your wheels? What do they call them? I've had a mental block. I've been driving for 18 years. Uh, no, do you know the middle bit? Cock Craig, what? Alloys. Oh, well, yeah, the alloys. I knew it had come to me. I knew it had come to me. <laughs> uh, but all of these bits, this is, look, look in the entirety, down to the windows on your caravan. I've put all of mine, and I've, I've, I've literally put them together and put them through the Xyron. So I've stuck from the window, I've put the two curtains on, down to the small window with a little trim on. This is the piece that sits at the front with the window. You can actually put a little picture of somebody in there. It would look super cute. Put your wheels together. When you put all of those pieces together, this is exactly what you're creating. You're creating that middle of the tyre, including down to that little detail of the alloy in the centre. They are phenomenal. They are. When I say phenomenal, I don't think I've ever found a set 
that literally it ticks all the boxes, Craig. I absolutely love this, this set. Now, the only difference that you see on these two pieces is that I've actually attached just a little hole punch. You could do it with your pocket tool, but it's to literally tie the box together, do you know, because I'm using this as a gift bag. So let's start building it up. Okay. And again, I'm going to come in and just trim, and everything fits into place. Everything. It is, oh, the finest of details, Craig. Absolutely phenomenal die set. And then again, I'm just going to start now, build up. Let's pop on my wheel trims there. So I'll come into the wheels. I'm going to centralise them so that that green is showing as well. But really good fun. And I know you were involved in some of the launches of these, Craig, weren't you? Um, and oh loved my gosh, them. so I was. Yeah. Yeah, you were, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. I had the launch. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Because I remember you doing some fabulous makes again. Just so many wonderful things you can do with this range. And when you start to stick it together and start to see it come together, you can just see how fabulous it is. So again, let's bring in, uh, we'll go with that back window. Um, I've got the side bits, I've got the top bit. This is where I'd be sleeping, above the uh, the top bit. Yeah, got to go on top bit, aren't you? Yeah, uh, go up to yeah. the top part. It's um, a safer bit. The what bit? Safer bit. The safer bit? You know, just in case the boogeyman comes or something during the <laughs> night and gets you. <laughs> <laughs> the boogeyman I love it you've been watching too many scary films you haven't you definitely yes producer Jamie uh, producer Jamie uh, I'm, I'm getting my producers confused some days some days <laughs> I love you guys you do crack me up uh, oh, yeah, but yeah. I'm going to just come up to the door and then I'm going to trim it at the door so I'm going to bring that down and then again <laughs> You can tell you can tell we're getting towards the end of the day, can't you? You can hear those boys in there. It's a, it's a shame you guys can't listen in to the conversations that go off in that room. What, one yeah, day one I think day. we're going to have to share. Yeah, we're going to have yeah, to. Yeah, going to have to share definitely. So again, it's just it's just adding those little trims on. It's those finer little details that you get in, um, which I absolutely love um, about this collection. And I know you do, Craig. Like I said, I've mm -hmm. seen your work with them. They're just phenomenal guys. Can I just quickly say as well, just yep. to show how quick you guys are on the ball, Christine Mahoney, you've already taken screenshots. Myself and Debbie, myself, <laughs> Debbie and Ben. <laughs> myself and Ben and pop them in our I'm a crafters companion oh, group so thank you so much for tagging us all you really are I'm looking forward to that craft along Christy I'm going to show the project later but yeah straight away Debbie the fun that we have oh, see we what do. you're creating we lots do we fun. have lots of fun the thing is you've got to, you've got to have a smile on your face you've got, you? you've got to you've got to enjoy life and you've got to enjoy your crafting um did you um did you get Christine's message about the craft along tomorrow yes well? so yeah. Um, I believe, because I did email Susie earlier. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, I've just checked my email, and yes, Susie's on tonight, as we know, but Susie has said in the email, yes, she sent it to her. So thank you very much. So it will, after Beautiful Beginnings, I'll post it on my Facebook, because I don't want to take anything away from this show, uh, but Susie has sent you an email, Christine. Fantastic. Everything. Fantastic. So I've got all my little elements together. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the box. Now I did say that this is going to be the um, slider part. So we're going to attach that to the bottom. So all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create, and again, you've got this lovely door that opens up and you can have your inside reveal into there. And it could be, I've absolutely anything. I'm not going to put anything on it because I've got a lovely gift box there. Um, so I'm just going to attach it. Now I want it to, to stand proudly. So I'm going to sit it right to the very bottom there so I'm just going to put the glue just into when you think about the size there I'm just going to go to about, about, half, about a quarter of a way up mm -hmm. so I'm going to come in attach the glue and don't be put off by this project because it really is easy and simple to um, do all these pieces um, once you have the fun in deciding where you're going to or what papers you're going to use you're going to have a whole heap of fun creating this and then when you're turning it over you just want to bear in mind when you're turning it over that it kind of matches in terms of where you are placing this so again when you look at it and I'm Debbie, use the right one with your hole already in. Uh, pop that over the top. Place it in the same kind of place. And this is when you can decorate this side as well. It does not necessarily have to stay. All you've got to do is you can put your wheels back in. You can put all your things. You just have to reverse your die in terms of your paper and where you're going to pop all your pieces. But for me, it would be somewhere where I'd be writing. Mm -hmm. It'd be where I'd be gifting where to, me, to, me, you know, to the recipient. So again, I'm just going to come in, pop a little bit of glue just about a quarter of a way up again. Um, you would take a little bit more time at this stage, uh, but just pop that down. And again, just marry it up. 
Do you know um, what's lovely, Debbie? Is say, you know, yes, you've created what could be a beautiful card, but it's taken something we do a lot is boxes, different sizes, oh, yeah. and, that, and very, very, very simply taking a little box concept and easily transforming that into a card, which actually becomes then that gift box. Yeah, and that's that's it. It just becomes this beautiful gift box. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Goodness me. Oh, I don't know what happened there. What I did you do, you do the reverse coughs? Cool, reverse reverse cough, yeah. cough, I call it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm perhaps that's the technical term I'm giving it. But sometimes it just catches your breath, doesn't it, Craig? When it you does, were, yeah. you were, I were about to talk and cough at the same time, and it's caught me, caught me off guard a little bit. So However, got, uh, um, and and yeah, it's just turning something from a card base into, like you said, that little bit of a gift box. Debbie's even struggling to tie a ribbon tonight. What on earth is wrong with me? Um, but come on. Just there you there. go. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Concentrate. And then lastly, I'm just going to finish that off with, um, I've got my little sentiment. Uh, and again, you're getting, you don't even have to worry about these because the sentiments are all covered. But I've got a bit of bunting, so I'm going to create a little bit of bunting on there. Uh, you can lift your bunting off with uh, your uh, chunky glue, with your hot glue gun, uh, all those kind of things. But I'm just going to attach a little bit, just a little bit going off the top there. And then adding, <coughs> excuse me, just onto the side. I'm going to pop on a little bit of a, yeah, we'll pop it down there at the bottom. And I've gone for a, and I'm going to say this slowly, mm -hmm. life rocks when your living room rolls. What a great sentiment. I love that. Just think that's really cool. And again, just popping that across there. And now you've got yourself a beautiful, and I'll just move all my bits out of the way. You've got yourself this lovely box that you can, you actually, you could actually attach, you know, through there, pop a little punch in there, add a little bit of ribbon so that it pulls out nice so that your recipient knows you've got this gorgeous gift box, which you are going to um, enjoy so much. Pop your gifts in there. The only difference there is I've put the busy camping going across that door. You would do it in the flat stage before you start doing all the decoration but again look how fabulous you've got with this it, it really is the coolest of gift boxes and this one would be with our craig in mind because of his lovely little candles Aww. fits the tea lights in but of course you could make that a little bit wider a little mm. bit deeper if you wanted to as well because the idea behind there is just so that you've got something that little bit different and like i said it still stands proud it looks make a great great awesome. gift box absolutely love it Absolutely. Do you know something? I'm going to say this. I don't actually know what Debbie's demo of the show was for Wake Up Call. Um, I love what she's done in Masterclass, but I'm going to say that's demo of the day. Demo of the day, potentially as well, demo of the week, that one. I love, I love that idea of doing two different things we do a lot, and that's creating a card and creating boxes, tie them together, and then you've got what Debbie's just done there. And you'd be able to transfer that through into other creative cards that we do. It doesn't necessarily have to be shaped ones, but you're able to bring them together. That is what I just absolutely love. And that one has come from the set of three that you are getting. So you've got your camper van. You know, if you love to have a little bit of pr uh, play about when it comes to words on the printer, you can have some fun on what you may want to have yeah. on the front of your camper van. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You've then got the full die set. You've got all those fun little sentiment stamps as well. Then what you've also got is your handbag, classy and fabulous. So you could then even theme it for, you know, you will predominantly, let's face it, you'll probably be for a female that you're going to be making and sending it. If that's the case, if they've got a favourite brand of handbag, then make it for them. If you have a favourite colour, make it for them. Of course, if you want to turn it into a satchel for a guy or that, then you can men's theme it. Of course you could, all of these different things, but you've got the stamps to go with it as well. And then you've got your Dorothy slipper, as I call it. It is actually if the shoe fits. And that one there, I'm thinking a red luxury cardstock, the glitter, the shedless, the well, glitter shedless mat, and also, of course, the mirror you could be using. That one there gives you all of those additional little embellishment dies. Yes, you've got the little bow die there, but then think about it as well. Debbie in the past and myself have showed you the create a bow set. Start to pull them in and just give them extra more depth. That comes with the stamp set as well. All of that, £35 or $44. You're saving £54.94. £54.94 or 
four for you guys stateside. If you are platinum, however, that's going to come down to £28 or $35.20. twenty. It's all on Shop the Day. Head across to our website, .co.uk, .com or .eu. Please remember as well, because we've at the start of National Craft Month, that's right across the board, right across the industry, right across the world, here at Crafters TV, HSN USA, of course, Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker here in the UK are celebrating their first birthday, officially starting tomorrow. But then you've also got QVC UK, all revolving with us at Crafters Companion, celebrating National Craft Month. We are going to be doing a number of things throughout the month. We are going to be kickstarting. At the moment, what we are doing is we are giving you 10% off your Spectrum Noir tools. Lovely selection across on our website. And it's tools that you will need and use. Your blending tools, refills, you've got cardstock, all there for you to take advantage of. That's from the 1st up until the 5th. However, what we're also going to do in the weekend is we're going to give you the uh, option to also purchase 342 on our Spectrum Noir pen. So that's going to be over the weekend. I'm not entirely sure who's in on Saturday, but it's myself and Corin on Sunday. I'm on the demonstrating side. We are going to be having a look at... Oh, Jan's back again this weekend. Jan's going to be in guesting on Saturday. Corin will be presenting. And then on the Sunday, Corin once again presenting. I have got a masterclass. I've got a first look of something, Debbie, that is so colourful. You love the paper pad, don't you? I adore the paper pad. And if you were watching the preview with Ben and Sarah, mm -hmm. you know what we're talking about. Definitely. I predict the biggest of riots with that collection, let me just tell you, yeah. the biggest. Um, I can't wait. And I'll be first in the queue, ready to get mine. Get hand. Oh, honestly, so I can't believe you got the first look, you jammy yes. devil, you. <laughs> and I, and yeah, and, and this, uh, so this, Past weekend was the first of us going back to our two-hour shows as well. Yay. What I will say when it comes to this weekend as well, the masterclass I've got is all about the Ultimate Pro. So we're going to have two hours. If you want another refresh, we've got that as well as our second chance Sunday. But let's have a quick hello to a few of you before, of course, we go into the next one. Because we're, we're going to look at the Shimmer Ink Pads. That Dorothy shoe, that Creative mm. Card one. Oh, that would be good. But let's yep. have a look at that just in a moment. Lot, do you know what? I, it's easy for us to say that me and all of us on the team, but me and Debbie and Ben, we all have a special relationship, and I've got a special relationship with Debbie, as uh, Debbie Fisher as does Debbie. We've all got a special relationship. It's so lovely to you for all of you to see how genuine it is as well. You know, it really, oh really my God, is. Yeah. The co I couldn't possibly go through all the comments of the love of seeing, Aww. you know, all of us. And not just the three that you've just seen there with us, you know, all across the team as well. It is so lovely. Many of you have mentioned the fact as well, it's right across the board when it comes to all of us on the team. So thank you. I really do appreciate what all do because it's just, it's, it's, it's genuine. That's all I can say. It is genuine. It's, it's pure friendship, love, and love if you want to bits. Uh, Beth is saying you guys never disappoint. If I need a good laugh, all of us are here. All of us are here. Uh, gosh only knows what kind of a laugh we're going to have at the weekend with Corin because she's up for a good giggle as well. Samantha is saying you guys are nuts. Yes, and proud of it. Michelle Parsons is saying, I'm so glad the CC creative team are not competitive or anything. No, not a lot. No, not a lot. Not a lot. Just We're not smidge. competitive. Oh, no. 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 no, no. We've told you the story, as I said earlier on, about the messages that go back and forth. I can't believe you got that launch. I wanted that launch. can't believe you got that craft along. It's all tongue in cheek. But there's that seriousness to it as well, isn't there, Debbie? Of course there is. Of course there is. <laughs> of course there is. Um, thank you, Susie, for sending that message to Christine. Christine Adrias on YouTube. Hi, Craig. Can I ask, did you receive my card? No, I never. No. Do you know that? It's funny because someone sent me a card and I never never got it and, and she sent me a couple of messages and I'm like, never received it. So I don't know what's happening with the transatlantic mm -hmm. post. Uh, but yeah, yeah, things things seem to go missing, Craig, yes. sometimes. So I shall have a look in our green room and then I'll check with uh, Shannon Customer Services. They've got a great... They're always on the ball, as you know. But I'm going to go at these. So I don't want to take away from that incredible demo Debbie just done there. Mary Reno is saying this is such a cr clever project. Debbie. Samantha saying, Debbie, I cut the windows into my camper van, put curtains and vellum in the window. Oh, I love that. Good idea. Yeah. Love it. Kim, you could use one of the reveal dies for the door. Oh, <gasps> never thought yeah. of that. Awesome. That's an awesome idea. Yeah, absolutely. 
Lois is saying, super sweet gift box. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie, Michelle is saying, great project. Uh, Christine is saying, can't wait to get the paper pad in the collection. I think that's uh, Colour Your World, My World, Our World. It's everyone's world. That title's been gone all the way around when it comes to the different options it could be. And then we've also got um, Mary Pat 1000 saying, I'm in love with the shimmer ink pads. Well, that's what we're going to have a look at right now. So we've got shimmer ink pads. This is a 10-piece collection. I'm so glad we've still got them in stock since they came back in la early last week, was it? Um, although I'm surprised they've not gone, but I think we're close to it. $53.91 for all of these ones here. $71.91. Save 10%. You are going to be $43.13 when it comes to platinum or $57.53. You've got toffee apple. You've then got frosty mint. You've got tropic blue you've also got peach rose you've got queen bee i always think of the mass singer when i see that name yeah do you as well uh, queen Nic bee nicola from girls aloud weren't it she, well, oh mm. yeah incredible voice amethyst we've then got our starling sky we've got lime soda we've got raspberry we've got sugar plum and that's it all 10 of them there. I was expecting another one there, even though I was counting in my head. All of them, Spectrum Noir, pearlescent pigment ink pad. Every single one of us on the team love these ones. All of you that have already got your hands on these ones love these ones. The fact that you're able to get all of these for $53.91, $71.91, that gives you a saving of 10%. What I would recommend as well, go back onto our YouTube, have a look, type in Shimmer Ink Pads. You'll see the incredible things that Leanne done with these when they launched and then sold out a couple of times within that day during birthday event. And then they have been featured all throughout since, since they were first launched. There was a craft along on the 20th, 23rd of December with Corin. At that time, there was only one colour that was left. You can go back because she used a few of them and rewatch it. There is another shimmer ink pad coming your way later on this month as well. So I've got a free refresh course. So if you didn't get them all, now's your opportunity. And then Corin will be back later on in the month with that craft along. But what we can do is have a look at our nature garden. Daisy collection here. Now we say Daisy collection, it's a little bit of a mixture. So what we've got is a mixture of some of our Nature Garden collections. I am going to go right, uh, right through this and then straight to Debbie. We've then got our May Your Day Bloom. So this is going back to our uh, farmyard collection. So you've got that love, it's sort of that, you know, that element of building a bouquet. If you've got our build a bouquet set, start to bring them into each other and build upon them with the vases as well as the florals. You've then got summer gnomes. So you've got the gnome boy because it is a boy, but of course you could colour theme it in whichever way you want with a little stencil and you can change the design or do something as simple that I never even thought of that Leanne said is why not use two designs in ones, overlay two of them together. You know, you'd think, yeah, Johnny's just went, oh yeah, uh -huh, and I never even thought about doing that. Sometimes you just need a little creative push, even uh, we do as well at times. Garden Gateway with our cut and emboss folder here. You'd have a lot of fun with that because you've got the little fence that folds open. Love this one. That one there from, correct me if I'm wrong, Sunflower Collection. Fabulous frame there. So you've got that framework, but then what you've got is a sentiment you can put in the middle there. It is separate, so you can, of course, put any sentiment in there that you so wish. So it's dependent, of course. Then we are going to have a look at a few elements from the delightful daisies. This is what I was saying earlier on. If you get full collections or little collections that's got ribbon in them, and you're like, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it other than a bow, Think about the ribbon thread and dies Debbie showed you earlier on. It's a great way to use up any of your ribbon elements. That one there it is. It's a mix between a texture and a satin at the same time. It's not a smooth satin, but it's got that satin-esque feel to it with a bit of texture. Now, if you've seen Masterclass, you'll have seen many of these elements are the ones that Debbie was using. So this is where it came from. Your sunflower with the butterflies as well. But then you've got the dragonfly and that teeny tiny little heart. Super, super cute. Then we've got a full pack. 9 by 12 daisy collection. Delightful daisy. Flower form and foam. So you've got that white tone. You've got the green and then that grey or more of a... 
It, it is white. On your screen, that looks like a, a light baby blue or so. It is pure white, green, and then you've got your uh, grey stone work down at the bottom. All of that you're getting for 61 68 If you are platinum, that's then going to come down to £48.80 or $54.40. It is well, as you've guessed it, all across on the website as well. You can stock up on any of these things, as well as additional items across there. But we can see that we're going to have a lot of fun when it comes to Nature Garden. You know, it's we we'll have our Sarah's signature, we have our nature garden, and then we also have our crafters companion collections as such. This one is brought to you from Nature Garden. Beautiful selection that I know Debbie's away to show us beautiful things that can be done with it. Yep, and I'm going to use a couple of the items. I've got the lovely garden but uh, non boy. I've got, I, I can't help it because I just love this. The spring accessory pack from the Delightful Days is. It's just delightful, it really, really is. And I love using this as well. So I'm gonna use that uh, too, so elements from there. Uh, <coughs> but yes, the, the the gnome boy, I adore him. I think he's absolutely super cool. Not only is he super cool, but he's got lots of things that he can hold as well. So we haven't deliberately put his hands into the equation of the stamp or the die what we're giving you are all the elements that you can add to so you can add him playing with his guitar you can add him with his little um, his little barbecue fork and his little spatula there or he could be digging with his little shovel there or he could be fishing with his rod as well so you've got lots of elements and then you can also add some little sunglasses onto him too so he can create a nice little uh, cool, even cooler a dude as well i've got a little barbecue uh, going off there you've got um, a lovely little um, element there where he's holding a little bit of bouquet of flowers it really is a well thought out collection to say it's a smaller uh, stamp collection then you've got the stencils um, <clears throat> My stencils aren't in there, so I don't know what's happened to them. However, yours will come with stencils. They will also come with the dies as well. So you've got your dies in there, so you don't have to do any fussy cutting for any of those elements because they all have their own, literally, their own detailed die yeah. to do all that fussy cutting for you as well so for me it's an absolutely fabulous set craig i've, I've always loved this one i've always found it really cute really uh, you know quite a modern fresh, fresh. Yeah, yeah absolutely now i'm just going to use the um i'm going to just use him on his own i'm going to keep okay. him yeah i don't trust myself craig to be no. honest the last time i used the fishing rod well, we, we won't mention any more. We won't mention any more. Think about your placement is all I'm going to say. Think about the placement. Uh, so I am keeping it nice and safe. It's beautiful beginnings. I'm not getting myself into any bother at all. So we are just going to keep it nice and simple. But you have all those added elements to get creative with. So again, I'm just going to stamp him up. So let's stamp him down there. Just while you're stamping there, Debbie, I have to say, you know how I said about the camper van? Yeah. Now, I stand by my decision. However, yeah. I've just gone to our next studio to get your project from yeah. Wake Up Call. Because I didn't say, I, do, I didn't know what you'd done. Oh, my God. Aw, you mm. are sweet. So I'm standing by the camper van, but oh, <laughs> my God. If you didn't see it, stay tuned till the end of the show and then always go back and watch Debbie from this morning. Oh, bless you. You are sweet, but Craig, I have seen your craft along project. And let's not forget, we've still got <coughs> who else is coming in. So there's our, there's our, there's you tomorrow, which is Friday, isn't it? It is. There's our Jan on Saturday, and then there's yourself again on um, Sunday. So yes, I've and I've seen your project. Mm -hmm. um, I love your project. Yes. I absolutely love it. Uh, but then I did say, I haven't seen Jan's project yet. She's been really, she's been really quite quiet Actually, about yeah. it, hasn't she? She's not shared anything. Mm, no, she's nothing. A, she's, she's definitely kept this one quiet. Yes. Um, so there's our Jan's craft along on Saturday yeah. as well. So it's going to be, uh, like it's going to be quite a week, is what it I'm going to say. Um, so I never take anything for granted. But yeah, absolutely amazing. So literally, all we've done now is I've run the die across the top, so you can see I've cut him out absolutely perfectly. And then you're just going to take some of your colouring mediums to colour in with. Um, I'll bring in my blue turquoise again, just because I do love this set. And again, you've got all of these on the show, so you can go ahead over to the shop the day. Uh, category and you can do a little bit of colouring as well so again I'll just do a little bit just on two there we go across there who's put a spell on you who Debbie has oh, tr oh, oh. 
I, if you wonder why I keep going deadly silent, it's because I keep coughing. I've got a coughing fit. Um, and that they're just saying, after what I told you, I think maybe Tracy's put a spell on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, see, uh, that's hilarious. That will crack me right up. I did offer though. I gave you mine back so that you could you could score some brownie points. I said to you, I can I can get you back and you can score some brownie points. We're like, nope. No, because no, because we're past it. Because she you see spattered dummy out the pram, and I thought, no, you're not getting it now. You're not getting it now. No way. And do no. you notice we've not had a cuppa? <laughs> That's yeah, why. I've that, yeah. I'm blaming you for that one, yeah, Craig. We're not having a cuppa sent in, so Sorry. she's getting us on back. So she's gonna she's gonna make us suffer now. We're not I gonna get a cuppa tonight. Plan, <laughs> I do I do have a plan for tomorrow when I come. Oh, back. I know you won't forget her. Is she in tomorrow? <laughs> Is she in tomorrow? That's the oh, thing. There's a, a point. Wait, you say she's probably not gonna be. Because I know Jake's in on Friday, so I'm, I'm wondering if it is our Tracy in yeah. tomorrow. Oh, it is Tracy tomorrow. It is. That's You're okay then, Craig. I You're can okay. Up you can you can you can uh, you can gain your brownie points back again. Yeah, she'll just turn it around on me and say, "You're only doing it to suck up." <laughs> I can't win now, can I? No, you can't, you can't win. win. You definitely can't win. No. <laughs> oh, Craig. Honestly, I, you should have took me off her up. That's what I'm saying, is you should have took me off her back up. Uh, now, oh, actually, do you know what? I'm going to stop colouring because I get I get carried away when I'm colouring. Um, and I'd be end up talking and be end up colouring them all in. But you can see how easy, you can see how easy it is actually to use those tri-blends. Because mm -hmm, you can see that little bit of shading going off. And that's because you have, like we've said before, and although we are beautiful beginnings, we will just say tri-blends are just the perfect colouring uh, colouring medium because you have everything in one pen. Three shades of that colour family, which in this case is the aqua blue blend, not the turquoise blend, but aqua blue blend, creating that lovely ombre effect, that, that depth and dimension that you're getting with your hat. And of course, colour them all in um, and do it that way. Stamp, die cut and then colour, because as our Craig has pointed out on many occasions, you could literally spoil your um, item if you do it the other way around and then die cut afterwards, especially depending on the machine you use, how that can go. But look what happens. It just comes to life. It literally brings a whole new meaning from a, a flat image to... Uh, and, and the only thing that I've done here with the ice grey, Craig, is I've just done some little flicking techniques up his beard okay. to give a little bit of texture. I haven't done anything major with that one. It wasn't any blending. It was just a couple of the shades of the grey, and I've just flicked upwards and flicked downwards to create that little beard effect and then just finish the rest off there but yeah have a lot of fun with that because that is a really lovely uh, set, uh, stamp set in itself and then we've got these gorgeous um spring accessories and we've got the butterfly on there and i am gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put one in there craig okay yeah i'm gonna put one in uh, i love this one because this one creates not one no. or two styles yeah. so you've got a full solid or you could add it with a full solid and then that centerpiece or you can use all three and i'm going to use uh, that for that reason i'm going to do first of all a solid base so let's bring in i've got a little bit of lemon going off here canary is it the canary, canary yellow lemon. Oh, yeah, it is, canary, isn't canary it? Yeah. Isn't it? love that um so i'm going to create a little bit of a base um i'm going to keep that oh. one for a second what's up what's up what's up she's just coming with a cup oh, of tea oh no she heard she heard she heard. Did you hear us, Craig, Tracy? Did you, did you hear us, Tracy? Oh, no, sure, she, she didn't hear oh, us. Oh, bless her. Thank you. Can I just give a little big shout out Can't, to yeah. our gorgeous Tracy? Because she hasn't forgot us. She hasn't fell out with us and she's even done for our Craig, despite the fact she didn't get a white chocolate cre cream egg. Yeah, but you can all have our spitting as well. She's a comic. <laughs> I know she wouldn't have. I know she wouldn't have. And, and Tracy, can I just say, wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. He's got something planned for you. With big hearts. Yeah, so don't worry. He hasn't left you out. It was just unfortunate that there wasn't enough to go round, is all we're saying. It's a good job we do love each other, isn't it, Craig? That's all I'm going to say. It's a good job we love I each do, other with I, all I our do. hearts and that uh, we can take everything in the good fun that it's intended. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I, do you know, I genuinely I wish Tracy would come on, pop I in know. every now and again, you know. Yeah. Occasionally we see her. Occasionally we see her. But no, you know, she's like, no, she's not going to come in. One day. Aww. <laughs> OK. They've, they've just caught up, they've, they, what they've she said. They've just realised what she's just said. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we were laughing at. That's what we were laughing at, boys. Uh, Tra Tracy being absolutely hilarious, as always. 
Oh. <laughs> Craig's face is like looking there, aren't you, Craig? <laughs> oh. uh, but yes. Oh, I love it here at Crafters TV. I do. I so it's, do. Like, it's like we call it our second home because it really is our second home. Mm -hmm. um, and I absolutely would not want to work anywhere else in the world. I actually was talking about this last night to um, a lovely friend of mine, and I was saying the same thing. Do you know, we are, I never take it for granted. And I am genuinely blessed. Yeah. I know we all are. Mm -hmm. We all are. We well, really are. And, and I know this will be like, oh my God, I can't believe you said this. But this is true. Do you know something? A lot of the guys here, you guys here, I love more than some of my own family. <laughs> you, you know, I do, you know how you have that the family. You know, you get on with, but you know, you know what I mean. You got friends, yeah. friends there that you love more than your family. I know. You know, what and you that's mean. the case here. For me, anyway, hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I've created a lovely little daisy there, but you have this other part here, Craig, where you can take another piece of colour. So I'll go in with the contrasting colour now. So I'll come in with a little bit and I'll just quickly show you before we uh, move on to the mm -hmm. next stage of putting it together. Um, and I'm just using little odds and sods here, Craig. In fact, you know what? Have we got a mini in here? A mini? There's... Is there a mini in here? Usually. Mm. So we're still in the other studio. Oh, it doesn't matter, Craig. I'll, I'll, I'll run it through together. It's OK. I don't think I can see one. No. Um, but yes, so you've got this die that's going to create the outside piece. It's a midi. There is a midi. Ooh, we've still got the midi, haven't we? We have. Have we still got it on? There's a mini folder if you wanted to use that with a midi. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. I will yeah. do. Yeah, that's what I do you. quite a lot. Yeah, yeah thank you for saying that because, yeah, that's uh, exactly what you can do. Um, let me just place my die back into there. Thank you very much. Yes, we've got the midi on. God, it is so, it is super strong into this. Mm -hmm. Literally, that is powerful. Um, I'm just going to hold that into my um, platform because we forget about this. You can absolutely, and I'm just trying to get that in now. Do you know what it is? I've been a bit tight with my cardstock. Um, I'm terrible for it. I don't like to waste anything, do you, Craig? Uh, no, and I know I've said this a couple of times, and I'm going to say it again. Yeah. You know when I'm using my own cardstock, <laughs> and you know when I'm using the studio cardstock. If I'm using my own cardstock, I am stingy as anything. If I am <laughs> using the studio's <laughs> cardstock, it may look as though I'm being wasteful. It doesn't but get wasted, can I just say, but no. it may look like I'm being exactly. wasteful. Exactly. And I'm just, let me just, I've, put it in, I've even put it the wrong way around, because it is for left and righties as well, isn't it? So I know our lovely Michelle's a left-handed, but she just turns it the other way, because that's exactly what you do. But you just want to line this up. Now, it isn't a symmetrical flower, so if you're wondering, thinking, Debbie's a bit... Is it... What's that expression again? Uh, the one that I didn't use yesterday. Oh, um, off-balance-handed. Yes, that one. Yes, we'll go with that one. Uh, so if you're thinking I'm a bit off balance with it, it's not. It's just I'm just trying to line it up. Uh -huh. and my eyes aren't working at, uh, very well. So there we go. I've got it in. There we go. In the right place. Run that through. So I'm not oh, I'm going to hold it down. I'm just going to hold the folder together because our little mini platform will work through the big midi machine, mm -hmm. which I just think is, honestly, it's, 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 it's phenomenal for that reason. Um, and I just love the idea. Uh, but again, I can't believe we're giving away a midi. I thought it's phenomenal, that, isn't it? Honestly, for free. It still blows my mind to say that out loud, because I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me. Seriously. How can we do that, Craig? How know, can how we can do that? We? So, now you've got the daisy, which this centre will fit into as well. And then you can also give it some extra oomph by joining all three together and sticking those three pieces together, which is what I've done with my two, my mm -hmm. four, and my five little flowers, just by bringing all of these elements together. So I've got my little elements just from a two of the pieces of that gorgeous collection. And I'm just going to just tie this little bit away because I've got things like literally laid everywhere now, Craig. Okay. I'm, I'm glad we're going for a break in a minute because yeah, I need time to shortly. actually put it together. Uh, but I've created myself a little aperture. Now I've used papers that I've had from the original, do you know the original um, gnomes? Mm -hmm. um, I've used these scenes just because I'm using the gnome. Um, I'm not sure. Do we have these still available, the papers for the gnome? The 12 by 12? I think we've, yeah, I think because we've got the Because this pad. is where I've got these from, the 12 by 12. Because in here, in, in the 12 by 12 pad, there's actually four sheets of um, this particular pattern. And as they say pattern, there's four different designs in there. Are you kidding? Not again. Literally, in stock, out of stock, in stock, out of stock. I can't keep up with you guys. But uh, for those that are relatively new, it just goes to show how phenomenally busy and popular yes. that that paper pad is. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the size of this card then, and imagine using perhaps you say it with flowers paper pads, uh, but the, the style of this card, it's called a diorama card and it is literally the full length of an A4 cardstock and I've scored it in at uh, two and a quarter inches and two and three quarter inches and I've done that on both sides on four pieces, uh, sorry, two pieces on four sides. That's going to be the base where my little pattern's going to sit. So we're just going to pop that together and, and then I'm going to literally now join the two together. I have used some of my nesting dies to create um, and I'll just show you. You know our lovely nesting dies. I always say everybody should have a good set of nesting dies. You absolutely should because you can create your apertures with these as well. So even with the decorative ones, you can create things like that. You said earlier on, Craig, about the ornate ones. That's, you know, the, all these things that you should have in your crafty stash. Absolutely. Sure. So I'm just going to join the two together and then we'll start to build up the um, pattern. So I'm just going to put glue just on both sides of my tabs. Oh, and our Susie's put, me too. I love you guys and consider you friends, even oh. although we've not met in person. Exactly. And she's yeah. across the pond, I know. Yeah, it's lovely that. It is, it's lovely. And she knows that we take the same of her too. 100%. Um, uh, we would be lost without... Now, I know obviously earlier on I uh, referenced the, the girls on, on the social team in the office. We'd be lost without Rachel and Susie as well because yeah. the, what they do on these shows to help us out is phenomenal. It is. It is. It's all one great big love community lo lovely community lovely crafting community mm -hmm. across you know across the um entire pages it's, it is it's lovely so i've popped those two pieces on now so you can see i've created a little bit of a scene created a little bit of an aperture and i'm going to just pop a little foam pad onto because i want him to sit at the back and then i'm going to surround him with little flowers around the outside so i am going to use do you want a heads up yes if you're needing some more foam pads Ooh. Where are the phone pads? Just, just, just saying, might be something happening tomorrow. I've missed, maybe twisted. You've put a little sneaky deal on, haven't you? Maybe. I, I did say to Ben though, he needs to up his game because mm -hmm. I think, I think you're going in for the crown. I, the I best, am. Uh, I'm, going, Lord. I'm going yep. big time for this. Absolutely. So this is why I've chose five, Craig, because I wanted to create a little bit of an half archway um, and just surround him with the lovely flowers. I have actually added um, from my Daisy collection, which is still available. You can buy this, but I just wanted you to hate add that a collection, don't you? I love it. I just adore it. You. I, I honestly adore this collection. It's just fabulous. Uh, but I'm going to bring in some of our 3D clad glue. Uh, I do say 3D clad. Please excuse me because I did laugh this morning because I really don't know what's happened here, Craig. But look, it's gone this gooey what, what kind of orange colour and I'm not sure what it is. Um, and I've tried to work it out and I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it works. Because at first I thought, has it gone off? And then I'm thinking, it's glue, Debbie. How can it go off? Hey, it suits the colour of the daisies, though. It doesn't. It just it actually looks like a <gasps> daisy centre. Product development. Coloured glue gel. <sighs> Who's going to get that one in? Shall we say that we found it? We stumbled on... Yeah! I'll tell you what, you, you feed forward. Can I just say, I'm right at the edge here, by the way, just <laughs> looking at this coloured... I'm just here. Just, just You can see me behind the graphics. You put forward coloured glue gel and I, ha I have already thought about coloured foam pads. I've, oh, yes. Black ones. Yeah, we need, we're definitely, we're definitely black, 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 ones. We need black ones. But coloured foam pads. There oh, we go. Colour yeah. Coloured glue gel. Coloured glue. And coloured yes. foam pads. Love that, Craig. Love that. Yo, did you say I'm with Leanne next week? Am I? Have I not with Ben? Are you sure? Next week? It's new to me as well. Apparently bent on holiday again next week. Gosh. I mean, come on, part-timer. He, he has more me holidays. Next, day, next week. He, he, has, he has more holidays than Holly and Phil does. <laughs> How does he do it? How does he do it? Now, I'm going to pop there because I am going to add a little sentiment onto here as well. And I've gone with fabulous friend because I'm... Bearing in mind, I've just, you know, got so many fabulous friends, including you guys. Oh, this could be fabulous Charlotte. Mm -hmm. We did get her tomorrow. a bit. birthday tomorrow and she's off, isn't she? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm taking... I'm 30 take what? 39. <gasps> get away. You hope she's not watching. 29. Oh. 29 is what she is. You I'm bad. taking her out for dinner next week for her oh. birthday. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. so sweet. I think it's, it's the Tuesday we're both free, so I said, right, take you out. Oh, dinner. that's lovely. That is really nice. So, yes, yeah, so you could take this, Craig, could take this and tell her that, uh, you know, 
There you go. So again, just using some of those lovely, um, lovely flowers and maybe other things that you've got in your collection, other papers that you've got in your collection. The lovely gnome boy, actually, I said about placement, just watch where you place in the flower. There we go. Uh, just checking. Uh, but again, just adding little elements and it really does create a really um, a lovely little scene there um, just by using one or two of those pieces that come in that fabulous, delightful Daisy's seven piece selection. It's a selection collection, isn't it, Craig? That's what you call it, it a selection it collection. Yeah, I oh, see. It's it's cut. That's what I was calling the collection the other day. I call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite, yeah selection yeah, collections. Nice little selection collection. Yeah. It really, really is. Um, oh, so it's always good to have Susie who keeps us right. Ben is only on Monday and Friday next week. Mm, so now we know. Yeah, because I'm in all day Wednesday demonstrating, and Debbie Fisher is present, which makes sense now. I just thought it was Ben's day off, but of course, if he's on holiday again, for you guys out of the UK, Holly and Phil do a morning daytime show. Who I seem always, I love them a bit, but they always seem to be off on the holidays. Just clearing that reference up there a minute ago. Uh, Susie, yes, Hunky Dory do have foam pads. I don't think we've got any in stock. We did have some on our website from Hunky Dory, but I do think they have gone though. If you are in the market for some Hunky Dory stuff, just say them tomorrow. You Maybe. You. Mm -hmm. you, might, you might find that they'll be all on more than 45% discount. Just say them. <laughs> Add another five on to that one. Uh, also, Philip Watson saying crafting the, the language that links the world. Do you know something? That is so, so true, Philip. Yeah. It really, really is. Angela Essex is saying, hi all, fab, debos, de, fab demos by Debbie. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, our Rachel is going to be coming into the office soon one of these days. She's so oh. jealous. Oh, I hope she brings in little Teddy. I hope so. Oh, cuddles, cuddles. Um, oh, yeah, I'll make sure that I'm going to be in that date. Hopefully, maybe, Susie, one day you'll get across to see us. Uh, Rose is saying that card is adorable. Mary Pat 1000, I must make this card, Debbie, too cute. Rebecca saying adorable. Thea is saying I will make this card tomorrow. It's lovely. Uh, or actually, I think you're calling Debbie lovely. Mary Reno is saying such a cheerful and cute card, Debbie. Christine Mahoney in big capital letters is saying, oh, such a... Uh, cute card, Debbie. Angela is saying fab card. Lois is saying beautiful card, Debbie. Marta is saying so cute card, Debbie. And Philip Watson is saying coloured foam on a roll. You can say that in block capitals all you want. It's me and Debbie Robinson here, so no one's singing. <laughs> no one's singing. Yes. And she better not sing it, i.e. Debbie Fisher, on Wednesday when we're back together again. Oh, yeah because she's getting locked in that cupboard, if she does. Uh, I cannot believe that we are 20 minutes into the second hour of the show. So what we're going to do is we've got quite a few of you that are in baskets, so we're going to give you that opportunity to check out. We are going to come back, but we have been referenced in Club Inspire, and you'll see the boss right here now to tell you all about it. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. 
Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Hello, I'm Ben, and I'm one of the presenters on Crafters TV. So my presenting journey started when I was about 18. I started working at a holiday park here in the UK. Our US viewers might not know it, but it's um, like a holiday park called Butlins. So what's involved with being a presenter? Um, well, my day-to-day -day kind of is um, ensuring I know everything that's on the show. Um, ensuring that the you know the guys that I'm working with obviously um, are happy with everything that's on the show. And I, I kind of feel like um, what I do, I'm sort of like the, the glue in the show, if you like. There's a bit of a crafty reference for you. So kind of listening to the guys in the gallery, uh, you know, the producer, the director, I'm sort of always um, listening to what they want me to do whilst the crafters are crafting. So I feel like I'm there as the glue, keeping sort of everything, you know, as it should be. Um, but I also think my job is to, is to have a lot of fun, which I think I do on most days, get the viewers interacting, because we always love to hear from our viewers, and I think that's one thing that we do here that you don't get anywhere else, is that, is that interaction. So I think on the shows where I get the opportunity to craft, I always try and have a go, because I always think that if I can show that I can do it as like a real newbie base level crafter, then hopefully that'll inspire other people to have a go as well. I'm always inspired by Craig, um, because again, he's such a talented crafter, as our guys, as I say, all of them are, but he has obviously had a lot to battle with um, as far as his health is concerned. I always say this about Craig, he's, um, you know, if I'm having a bit of a bad day, I always think about Craig because he's not been so well recently, but he'll never come into work and sort of moan about how bad he's feeling and with all of the health issues he's had and you know, the operations he's had over the years. Um, he's a big inspiration because he just gets on with it. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. You know something? We, could, we, we can't hear a lot when it comes to VT in this studio here, but um, that's the first time I've heard that part of the VT where Ben mentions, mentions me. I didn't know he'd done that. Didn't oh. know, I didn't know he'd done that, yeah. Did you know oh. that? named after him well I, I did know that from his last uh, his last vt i i didn't know that you see so i so we did a trivia quiz uh play your craft right at the weekend and neither me or corin knew that an alpaca was named after him there you go you learn something new every day you or do. Uh, as i said should have paid more attention when he's on oh. it was just such a long long that i'd listen to it first bit and then i'd carry on getting on with little yeah. bits and that's the problem that's the problem i don't always always have the time to just sit and no. listen to the gorgeous man well see we knew our limits when we were asked to talk about ourselves when we were oh asked yeah enough. he just rambled on He's well to be fair craig like i don't know what it's like when you filmed yours but i'm a bit of a hot sweaty mess on mine because it was the hottest day of the year was it? it was awful and bearing in mind the tin place yeah. we, used to, we, we joke about it being the tin shed it was so warm in there i went out <laughs> like i can't stay in here it's too warm so i literally sped through mine so fast yeah. and shot shot in shot out gone and because gone. it was just so so warm so I, yeah i had to do mine a couple of times because uh tori who is no lo no longer here she was doing the, the video and the editing so she had the camera facing me and she said to me now don't and, and her she was looking just over the camera and she's like don't look into the camera and don't look into my eyes. Kind of look in between. So I'm in this small space. I'm trying to look. So my eyes either go to the camera, which naturally they will do, or they were catching her eyes. So you can see my eyes going like that. She's going to have to do it again. I went, I went to her. This is what I went to her. I love you, but can I either look at the camera 
or look at your eyes or hang something for me to just look at, you know, because my eyes were going back and forwards. I think it was about three times I had to redo mine. Well, if you thought that were bad, she made me look into Jamie's eyes. And not old Jamie, young Jamie, 17-year-old. <laughs> Look into my I found eyes. it quite quite unnerving. <laughs> I would have rather have talked to a camera or a blank wall. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so can you see why I ran mm -hmm. in and ran out? I was hot and sweaty to start with, and then having to look into a seventeen-year-old's eyes. So I was like, I'm out of there. Are you singing, Mrs. Robinson? They in my are ear? singing it. Yeah. What are they like? I'm telling you, they're on form tonight. On form tonight. Now. Shall we have a look at our sliding pop-up card dies? Because this is what we're going to be having a look at <laughs> in a minute. This is where you're going to get 32 dies in total here. $24.99 or $29.95. Price is, of course, for the set there. Now, platinum price is $19.99 or $23.96. In those 32 elements, you do have the sliding pop-up mechanism. But you have got an incredible amount of dies that you can get that you can get when it comes to of course the actual dies so whether you've got nesting dies that you're going to be using in conjunction with these ones here or of course you've got the butterflies you've got the flowers and you've also got blooms as well all of these are going to work in conjunction of course with the slide pop-up dies lots of fun things you can do 24.99 or 29.95 if you're platinum it comes down to 19.99 or 23.96 these are all across on our website like every everything else. Take advantage, of course, of the Spectrum Noir tools that are 10% off from the 1st to the 5th because you'll be able to possibly use these with a multicolored, multicolored, multi-purpose card and colour them in pattern paper, cardstock, whatever you like. Debbie, I'm throwing over to you. I don't know what the guys are saying. Can I take my talk back out? <laughs> I've purposely <laughs> taken that out there. It's all the lovely singing we've had in yeah, the year, all the it? giggling. You know, they are little devils sometimes. You can tell it's getting towards the end of the evening. Uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put these together. And we are going to create, and I, I will show you a couple of samples because I've got a, a couple down here to show you in terms of the fun elements when it comes to a pop, and we call it a slide pop-up because it slides, and I love this because it's got that lovely picture of our fabulous Sarah with the lovely, now I forgot her first name, but from QVC, Alex. Alex thought, yeah, Alex thought it was. Uh, but again, love the idea, the concept of a sliding element and then revealing whatever it is that you want to pop under there, whether yeah. it be a message, a stamp message, picture or of in Jamie. this case, a, per a what? Picture of Jamie. A per <laughs> You behave yourself, young man. Uh, but honestly, absolutely incredible dies, and they're so easy to put together. And, and we were talking about this yesterday, myself and Ben. Fun kinetic movement cards mm -hmm. always appeal to me. I don't know about yourself, Craig, but they appeal to me all the time. Um, and they are so super easy to put together. So as with what I was doing yesterday, I want to show you how easy these are to put together. They are in our beautiful beginning show um, because these are a fabulous one set wonder of dies because these two are the worker dies. And if I turn that the right way around, you'll be able to see there how it works. You have this worker die that's got score lines in as well as cut places as well. So it's got some um, die cut elements to it. Also a little bit taken out there for this little pit, bit to sit underneath. Okay. So that's the bit that will pull. That's the bit that will slide. And then easy to do. We'll talk about the rest of the dies in a second. But easy to achieve these results just by simply running them through your die cutting machine. So we'll speed that process up and we'll die cut through there. Um, and again, in fact, do you know what? Do you know what? Let's try it without. It's a straightforward die again. Let's go without first. Let's run that through. Yeah, I can hear it. It's working. You can hear it. Yep, I think, I think that's going to be okay. Um, less pressure sometimes is the right way forward in terms of your machine. Get to know those machines of yours. Um, and if it hasn't cut through, you can absolutely um, just re pop that back in with the mag magnetic shim but as you can see it's cut perfectly and it's even put those score lines into place as well and then I'm just going to run the other mechanism through now this is a thicker cardstock so I'm going to put it through with the other one there we go run that through as well so this is the two parts of the uh, the slide pop-up that creates the wow factor creates the reveal and again is super super easy to put together in terms of your dies okay. uh, sorry in terms of your concept 
with your dies. Now, we've got the two pieces cut out. First things first, there's a score line. And if I pop that on just onto the top, you'll see the de deliberately designed feature is in here mm -hmm. because that sits underneath the slide part. You need it to be that fraction bigger so that it doesn't connect, it doesn't interfere when pulling it or by coming out at either side underneath there. So for me, it's the perfect, perfect uh, place to pop that. And then you're just gonna pull that back, Craig, pop the score line into place, bring it back down on itself. And those score lines are already in, I'm just gonna reinforce them. You use any cardstock, whether it be linen cardstock, whether it be a paper. I did a paper one yesterday to show you that you could still do it yeah. with paper as well. And then the same with this one, this little tab, I bring it forward and then I'm gonna put some red liner tape on. However, I wanted to add a little bit of an extra element to it because although this will stay attached underneath and pull out, I wanted to just add, which I have on mine, a little hole punch because I'm going to thread some ribbon through. Okay. So although we have, um, I say it although we haven't put it in there, I'm pretty sure the die is in there, Craig, to be able to create that if I remember rightly. Do you know in my head, I'm trying to think, did I use the hole punch or did I use the die? Oh, I don't think there's no, a die. No, it's not. Do you know what it is? I'm thinking of the other die set that's got the ones that I know got, exactly what yeah, you're you thinking of. Yeah, you know which one of. I mean, don't you? I know yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, I, Hole punches, other dies that could... Which die set is it that's got it in? It's going to it's gonna irritate me now. Mm -hmm. Because it, there's a die set that you can actually put the tag little hole into or not. And it's... Look at him. He's thinking the same I as me. I am, because I've used it. Yeah. It's going to irritate me now. It really is. Because I've used it as little corner embellishments yeah. instead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, it like, come back to me. Probably at three o'clock in the morning when it's keeping me awake, uh, which is when, <laughs> when those kind of things tend to happen. Yes. And you can be sat there, and something that you thought about earlier, but you couldn't get the answer, suddenly pops in your head just as you're dozing off. Uh, now, I'm using my red liner tape because we talked about this yesterday, Craig. This is a very small, thin flap tab, whatever you call it. Using a thicker glue in terms of a tape pen can create too much glue onto there and can make it messy. So in terms of putting these two pieces together now, you want to make sure it's smooth and it's clean. Now, I turn mine this way and I have this this way and attach the two together. So I'm gonna just literally, and you've got, you've got instructions. I think you'll find the way that's right for you when you're popping this together. But I'm just gonna turn that around and I'm going to attach the two. And if I just bring it up just to the forward part so I can show you, you want it to sit neatly into that flap. So again, find a way that works for you. Um, for the purposes of the camera, I'm going to do it this way so that you can see how I attach it. Once I'm happy with where it is, and when I say where I'm happy with where it is, you make sure, I'm just going to, I'm just going to bend that forward, you've got this even piece on both sides because that connects now that perfect slide, okay, that perfect yeah. pop-up. And nothing's interfering, nothing's coming out because it's all been done to work together beautifully. Um, I've got my card base, so I'm just gonna move that to one side because what I'm gonna do now is bring in the extra elements because you've got all 30, 30, the two worker dies, move to one side. You've got all of these dies to create multiple different die cuts. With your nesting dies, I'll just turn them that way, move all those there. With your nesting dies, you can create a beautiful piece like so. And that is just using those two elements. I'm just mm -hmm. going to put that to one side so you can see. Now, you can also cut out a solid piece of, and in my, this particular one, uh, I'm going to use acetate. So it's cutting out a solid piece of acetate because that's going to sit into there as well. You've also got um, where you can create a solid piece. So if I just bring this one in, that creates a solid piece. So already you've seen it do two different things straight away. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your scallop piece, then you're going to mess around with your nesting dies and create lots of different frames as well. So you can pop that in and then the frame to cut out another element. And you can start to see that you can start to build up a lot of pattern kind and a lot of idea. lovely things with this. And in terms of this one, it's going to be a shaker one. I'm okay. going to create a little bit of a shaker one with it as well. So I'm just going to move all those pieces. You've got 30 embellishments from butterflies to balloons to stars, flowers, foliage, love hearts. And and so on and so Lord on. And Honestly, there's a ton of things in that die set, uh, and it is an absolute beauty, it really is. So let's bring in all my die cut pieces okay. and put this together. Now, I did say I'd got a little bit of a fluff. Uh, wait a minute. A little bit of a floating, floating element. Floating element, okay. Floating element. Thought about the word. Yeah. Uh, I did. Took me time. Definitely took me time. 
because I, I've seen the internal newsletter that's gone out in the company with something I said on air. Um, oh, what, what, look at the Coffee Break magazine that goes round internally. In, we're on the bloopers. Uh, me with me bits. Okay, that bit. That's all I'm saying. So I thought about that word, a floating element. Oh. Get me up. Thinking about it. Uh, so it's a piece of white multi-purpose cardstock. And all I've done is I've cut a little strip down to half an inch by four. And I've scored it at one and a quarter inches. Wait a minute. Debbie, you haven't. One inches, one and a half inches, two and a half inches and three inches to create this little mechanism that's going to sit onto the top of this mechanism to create a folding element. You see that? Oh. And then I can rest... I wanted to have a little bit of fun with these dies because this is this is what Leanne's, you know, Leanne and the team thought about this die set, yes. giving you so many different concepts, which I absolutely adore that because it really is super cool because you're mm -hmm. just going to attach the two together. So let me pop that on now. So let me grab my tape pen. Do you know what's so good and what's so lovely to see and why we're seeing this and how we're allowed to do these different things? And what I mean by this, and I'm not dropping anyone in it when it comes to other companies, there is a big... There is a big company out there that get annoyed when they are, n not crafters at home, when their products are demonstrated and it's been used in different ways than it was intended. There is one out there. That's not like us here. Usually towards the start, what we'll tend to do is we'll tend to use them in the way that they are designed, don't they, and concepted. But yeah, absolutely. you can, of course, um, we're allowed our free reign to show you all these different ways in which you can use them. And that's what I love about Leanne and the team that allow us to do that. Yeah. And I'm going to cover those up because I'm going to pop on there now, my little panels. Um, so once you're happy with where you've popped it, and I, like I said, I've just literally centralised it into that uh, centre part, you can then pop your little panels on. So you've got an extra little bit of decoration onto there. I think I'm just going to iron it up just that tad more. Let me okay. just... Oh, oh, nearly. There we go. I just want it that little bit higher so it doesn't interfere with my little fold. Um, and I've got to... I've, again, I've used the... Hmm, the now we know how to stock uh, gnome pad. Um, at the time of me making this, uh, the gnome pad was in stock. However... You can use any of your patterned papers for this, Craig, mm -hmm. any. I'm just going to just move that ooh, up slowly. The, um, if you've got your go. watercolour card or anything, if you like creating your own backgrounds and that, you know, you follow oh what you Imagine you can... doing that and then using yeah. your own pattern for Absolutely. That. But look, you can see now, and I've been able to cover it up, it still won't interfere with the pulling mechanism because it's literally got that sliding mechanism still going off there. But it gives you, and it can, you can lift those off with foam pads if you want to as well. So once I'm happy with where you are, I'm just going to push that down. So that's that little bit, but I'm going to create that little shake piece going off. So I am going to use, this as the backdrop. I'm going to decorate, so I'm going to pop on, let me, um, where's my, where's my pick? Oh, there it is. I'm going to decorate those two pieces together. So I'm going to come in now and pop my dotty tape pen. You could make that into the top part of like a baby's rattle. Yes. With a little shaker yeah. element. Do you know when I first um, popped that together, that's exactly what came to my head. Absolutely, mm -hmm. it came into my head. Um, yeah, absolutely. So many different ways you're going to be able that's to use the these dies. Yeah. And may I add, not just with the slide pop ups, you're going to take these and use them for a whole heap of other things. <gasps> what you're thinking, about? What you're thinking. So, yeah, a baby rattle. Do yep. it in yellows or ivories, and then in the, underneath that slide mechanism, that could be the gender reveal. Oh, Craig, mm -hmm. I love that. There that's, you go. That's a corker. That's a good, that is a good that's one, isn't a it? That's a good one. Mm -hmm. You see, I love this creativity, yeah. Craig. I love this creativity. Or, you know, you could, you, you know, if you're doing, you know, it could be that a uh, baby boy's just been born. So you could do a picture of the, the little baby with the details, you know, the oh. baby's, the, the time, the, the day, etc., etc. And maybe like congratulations or pink for the girl, of course. But yeah, I like that. If, if you're ever wondering about, you know, um, if you don't know the sex of a baby, I always say either ivory or yellows yes. are a really good choice. Yeah. Really good choice. Or a lemon, or a mint green. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could do those as well. Lemon, would that not just be yellow? Lemon? Yeah. Yellow? No, pale. Pale. Yellow, your oh. yellow, your yellow would be a bit too bright for me, as in terms of a nursery yeah, and a reveal. 
yeah, but I'm, th I'm just thinking of yellow lemon, so the colour, so, yeah. <laughs> so when I'm saying yellow, I'm thinking of, like, a lemon. <laughs> and I'm thinking of lemon, lime, le 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 what did I call it? You're thinking of cocktails. I'm thinking mm -hmm. of all sorts now, Craig. Oh, and I've gone completely yeah. off kilty, what are we doing? <laughs> I know, eh? <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, you, and, you, and that's the thing, you know, you know, having fun in that. But yeah, you, you could do yeah. all your di different, you know, gender reveals or anything like that. Absolutely, and lots of lovely things. I love that idea, though, Craig. I, I hope you're going to execute that because I think that is a cracking I'm idea. Going to have to, haven't I? Yeah, absolutely. Not putting you under any pressure or anything. Uh, now, I've put my form on a roll around the outside. I've popped my little sequins into there because what I'm going to do now is join them together. So let me just find the end and peel that away all the way around and then i'm going to come you can move red liner tape um, i'm going to just now marry the two pieces up together like so and then i've got my little shaker element once i'm happy with it just seal that down all the way around there letting nothing escape and i've got my little shaker element and then i'm going to add again you've got love heart dies in here so i'm going to create a little bit of a, a love heart feature have i got some foam pads left <gasps> Am I nearly running out? Just bear with me, Craig. I've got to find. I think I've. I think I've used the last yeah. bits there. I've got some more at home though. Make mm -hmm. sure I stocked up, because just of late I've been using loads of foam pads. Yeah. I, I have really been enjoying using them. You go through fads, don't you? You you, you do. You yeah. do. I think with ours though, is ours really does have a very very much of an easy release on the back. Yes, of them. it does. Yeah. And I think that's what people were put off with when it comes to foam pads in the, in the days. Is you know it was a real fussy to get the backs off, and that's why people got fed up and didn't use them. Yeah. What I would say as well <laughs> is don't put them anywhere near a heater because do you know when you said they come off easy? Mm -hmm. Oh well. Near yeah. a heater? No, they don't. Uh, as Debbie has proved on many occasions. Now, before I actually stick that down, I'm going to put the base card together. So, I've taken a piece of multi-purpose cardstock. Uh, you can actually see where I use this one from with my little demo piece. Um, but I'm, going, I'm just going to come in. We always like to be a bit frugal, don't we, Craig? We do, indeed. Do you know, I've just seen the time. Look at my goodness me. We've got all sorts to cram in, haven't we? It's been a good day, though. I've really enjoyed it. I good. have really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to add my Sending Love Your Way that's going to sit into that panel. Um, and I say panel. I'm going to tie a couple of quick ribbons just through there, if I may, Craig, just for a yeah, second. Are you in on Friday? I am. I thought so. It's me and you again on Friday. It is? Yeah. Yeah. Me and you on Friday. It's going to yeah, be a good one, Craig. Have you seen what we've got? I have, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah. am so excited because it's like a resurgence. Is it a resurgence? Is that what you say? That's a good way of putting it, yeah. It's a good way of, yeah, of something that I think has been overlooked for a long time and needs to make, a, and I do mean this in the nicest of possible ways, but make a comeback because I've got a ton of them at home and I'm even more excited now that... Uh, that we have got a launch. Mm -hmm, we do indeed. Of the new, the new. I think it's out there if you want to see it. Can we say it? Yeah. The new corner tag punches. Yeah. Oh my God, mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Uh, and I've got lots of different ways to show you how to use them. And not just in the way you would necessarily think just by, you know, doing it around the corner of a, you know, display or something. There's tons and tons of ways that you're going to be able to use it, Craig. So I'm super excited about yeah, that Yeah, it's launch. going to be, I cannot wait to be, you know, uh, presenting on that side with you, Debbie, to see all the things that you're going to do. Oh, well, I've done something with you in mind as well, so... Oh, have you? I have, yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to give too much away. Now, I've popped some wet glue onto there, so I've got a bit of wiggle time, so I can position before I actually... So I know when I lift it, I've got a bit of time to get that into place. So, coming back in, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue. Again, three sides this goes onto, nowhere else, because if you pour it anywhere else, Craig, ooh, you're going to have some problems. Um, so I am going to uh, make sure that I line that up and position that, that bit into the centre of the card, and that's perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be. And just by adding the ribbons and that little hole at the top just creates an all different kind of elements. So again... Popping that onto those sides, and then I'm going to attach now a little shaker bit onto the wobbly idea. bit into there. And I'm, I'm going to add a little bit because it's a shaker element. I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, red liner tape just across that uh, little floating element. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Super proud of myself for remembering that word. Um, and then again, take off your red liner tape, pop your little um, piece on there. 
and just give that a little you got all you do is gonna make sure you've got a nice burnish you could use your wet glues if you wanted to i'm just going to get my fingers from underneath there but you've got this lovely little floating oh love heart element and then just finish that off with a little butterfly or two wrong tape pen debbie wrong because see it's getting towards the end of the night but let's pop in our lovely little two butterflies and we'll layer it up so we've got a couple of wings there and then there you go you've got this lovely slide and reveal little message and i love your idea craig i just honestly love your I, idea i love that idea what you can create but you've got that lovely little wibbly wobbly on the top so it's, it's almost giving it a different dimension mm -hmm. but of course it's still a card but a lovely wow factor as well with your recipient and like you said that lovely message underneath could be absolutely anything of course it could Phew, shall i get my card ready yeah please yes. do but just Let have a very quick ready. recap yes yeah, so don't worry susie we're ready to do the votes just in a second that was the slide pop-up card die set with 32 dies in total you've got all of these ones for 24.99 or 29 dollars 95 if you are platinum it comes down to 19.99 or 23 dollars 96 so you've seen the incredible ways that debbie has just shown you there what we always say as well don't forget if you are purchasing it for the first time or even if you've got it always go back onto our YouTube as well because you've got lots of other ideas. I used it within Monday Makers last week with Leanne and it's been used a couple of times throughout with uh, many of us on the team so you'll find different ways. Although I can say it and I would say it with my hand on heart, I think what I've just seen there, the way that Debbie's used it, out of all the ways it can be used, that's by far my absolute favourite way. I love that take when it comes to the top. So, because of that, could it be demo of the show? We're going to find out right now with these incredible Ooh. demos that Debbie's done. Yes, and we had gremlins at the beginning, so we're, we, you know, we only got managed to get three in. However, I think three that have shown different ways that you can use them. Um, so our lovely camper van with the uh, candles in there is number one. I do love that one, I'm not going to lie. Uh, number two, well... <laughs> I love this one as That's well. Yes, so Matt. number two, it's still a little bit wet because it was chunky glue that I used, so I'm not going to hold it too because I want it to dry. So that's number two. And then number three, you've just seen us do... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's do it again. Doo -doo 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 and it wibble wobbles as you're mm -hmm. doing it. I love that. So number three. There you go. Three, two, or oh, one. Me, 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 me. You decide. Absolutely. You decide. You'll literally have a minute or so to get the votes in before we do demo of the day. Right, what we're going to do is let's have a little look at tomorrow's craft along that I've got. I think it's absolutely perfect timing to show it because it was actually inspired by a simpler version that I'd done two weekends ago when I was on with Debbie, who, might I add, if you did not see, was incredible on the presenting site. And I should even know when we're in the car with Sarah yesterday, she said the same as well. Did she? How did the awesome bossy? you were. Oh. Yes. She heard from me she heard from ben she heard from johnny how awesome you were oh. she didn't see the whole show but she was dipping the end she went back on youtube and dipped in dipped in oh and isn't she that said, lovely oh that's fabulous. lovely bless her so within that show we done a scoreboard master class where i done a little notelet set and you guys went bananas went bananas debbie had the most kindest words for this as you did so i thought do you know what let's stick with that theme it is going to be what we are going to be creating now we don't have all the texture embossing folders left we've got two that you'll still be able to get your hands on tomorrow however as you know craft alongs are all about those that may have bought the full collection at the start i'm using just one i'm going to be using the uh, studded leather all throughout you can use whichever ones you want you can mix and match i for me personally i just want to use the same one throughout simple on the front there and then we've gone in with our cutting sentiments just to say got a little velcro dot here you could do magnetic you can do ribbon if you want and then we're going to open it up now what i will say is when it comes to all this studded leather detail you will probably have to do that after the craft along same with all of the individual notelets that will be after we'll create the whole thing we'll form the whole thing and a few things you'll have your homework to do all again inspired from that master class so if we open one of them i'm going to show you how you can make one of these envelopes so wow. i've done five so you're going to, I'm going to show you how to make one and then you can make the other four after. But we need something to go inside. So what we're also going to do is we're going to make five of these. I'll show you oh. one and then you can do the other four afterwards after the craft Craig, along. Craig, little notelets. Craig. You can do whatever. Stunning. 
As we said earlier on, Debbie loves that with love dye all the time. If you've got a favourite one, you can use that. I love that hello dye. So that's what we are going to make tomorrow. So most of the notelets, as well as the envelopes, as well as the studded detail, you will do after. But that whole concept you're going to be able to make with myself, Ben's going to be on the presenting side, just to say, note let's. I but promise you the details will go on my Instagram and Facebook tonight once I get home. And you can then, of course, print, you can copy, you can do whatever you like. You'll have all the details as to what I'm going to use. If you want to mix it up and change it, use other folders, you can do whatever you like. But tomorrow, that's what we're going to do in the craft along. So can that's I just inspired. say, Craig? Not only demo of the show, day, week, month, I think potentially year. Oh, that is just stunning. And I know how much love came for it because I was reading the comments. Out. I've never seen comments like it in my mm, life. No. So I know how much you guys are going to absolutely love that. So it's going to be a cracking day. Uh, do we have a demo we do. of the sh show? We do. Because we've still got a demo of the day we do. as well. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go straight in there, Debbie. It's number one. Oh, it is number right, okay, one. A little camp of well, you did call that, Craig, didn't I'll, you? I'll come yeah. in. So, this, so we've got three to choose from. Yeah. So shall we start with, because I know Susie will be like, oh, we're cutting it to the wire, we're cutting it to the wire. This is going to be for demo of the day. So going way back when, to the beginning of the day with the gorgeous Ben, we did our ribbon threading box, number one. Number two in the masterclass, you absolutely fell in love with the ornate pop-out um, die set. So that's number two. And then number three, we're going in with a little camper van gift box. I almost want to do the... You do, don't you? You've got to help yourself. It's like a little train, isn't it? Ooh, that could be a nice idea as well. scooby doo so number, I know, ooh, I got excited then. So number three, number two... Oh, number one, you decide, get your votes in. So Susie doesn't have a meltdown. So sorry, Susie, we're so sorry. It's because the gremlins, you know, it, you know everything mm -hmm. start, you know, it started unraveling a little bit. We're going back on track though, we're going back, back on, on track. track. We've still got a fair few minutes left though. So one, two or three, you decide. 100% and I'm glad it's not me. I am genuinely glad it's not me trying to choose on that one there. Um, right, too, let's have a look at our MIDI machine where we're going to uh, give you some products that you are paying for and then you know we could give you tape runners for free we could give you a guild and wax all great but no we're going to give you a gemini midi for free so what you're going to be paying for is this gorgeous bundle 63 pound 98 or 78 dollars 79 or platinum price is 51 16 or 63 dollars and three you've got your congrats that is your connecting sentiment you've also got a proud of you stamp and they work together you've then got your stencil there from enchanted dreams is that splattered paint effect beautiful for your water reactive ink pads and your mixed media items we've got our love heart this is our create a card frame die there with the love die as well as sentiment stamps we've got our iris fold in die set here as i said earlier on a nice one as well if you don't intend to do iris fold in use it as an aperture die or use it as a silhouette die it's beautiful and then we are also giving you, in what you're paying for, your butterfly waterfall die. That's the full die set there with all the stamps that enable you to create a butterfly waterfall card. That itself is worth £24. £24.99 on its own, that is worth. However, you are going to be getting all of that $63.95 or $78.99. Platinum is $51.16 or $63.03. And that on its own is exceptional. But what we're going to do is we're going to give you a Gemini Mini as well. Gemini Midi even. It is manual, however, you're still going to get that same amount of pressure as you would with the Junior, the OG, even the Pro, but of course you can cut and you can emboss. You don't need any plates for this, it's folder based and what I love with this one, Debbie, as well, when it comes to 3D embossing folders, you need diddly squat, nothing, just the card to go into the middle and it is free. It's all on Shop the Day Across on our website, co.uk.com or .eu. Um, but we are, so we're still just waiting on that result coming in. 
Uh, it's me that's back tomorrow. So I'm back tomorrow with Ben. I'm going to be back, of course, on the demonstration side. We've got wake up call where we're going to be having a look at the folders. We'll do a few techniques when it comes to the folders. And then, of course, we will be having a look at the items in that smackdown of a cartload that we've got coming your way. It's going to be big, it's going to be bold, and it's going to be loud. And then we're going to go for that chilled relaxation craft along before, boy, the guns are coming out when it comes to this craft along uh, cartload even. We'll be in uh, craft along as well. But yes, cartload is going to be fun. Uh, Debbie, demo of the day goes to number three. Number three, so. the choo-choo, I call it the choo-choo train, it's not at all, it's a camper van. Uh, thank you very much, I've enjoyed every single demo I've made today. I hope I've given you a little bit of um, inspiration oh, throughout oh, the day yeah. as well. Throughout Fair. the last two days, because I've tried to mix it up a little bit. But I am back on Friday. Um, I don't know how exhausted you're going to be after tomorrow, uh, but it's going to be a good one tomorrow. You definitely tune in. But yeah, we are back, on, well, myself and Craig are back on Friday with a fabulous new launch. So, mm. oh, I think... I think it's been, whew, what a day. It's been a cracking day. I've loved you every have minute of it. You smashed it out of the park, park today. I didn't see everything in Wake Up Call because I've seen, obviously, what you've done there. Going in, of course, from the comments that I've been reading for Wake Up Call within this show here, but what you've done on Masterclass as well as within this show here. I know you do it every time, Debbie, but absolutely smashed Thank it out you. of the park. Thank so you I love much. that one. Um, you know, love Ben a bit. Looking forward to tomorrow, but I am also looking forward to Friday where I get to work with Debbie again. So love you loads. Love Enjoy. you too your day whatever you do tomorrow uh, a bit of prep bit of prep <laughs> yeah a bit of prep and a bit of uh, nanan cuddles Aww. with me two favourite little human beings in the whole wide world I can't get me I can't wait to get my hands on them again oh do you know what I would say lap up enjoy it you always do I you do. always do that smile and glee on your face when you talk about them it's lovely to see always Susie you little gem as well thank you so much uh, for uh, your help as well as Rachel earlier on I am as I say back tomorrow again please make sure when it comes to the website just now because we are at the start of National Craft Month you can of course get 10% off any of our Spectrum Noir tools from today up until the 5th that are there you'll see that section on the website over the weekend you will get a 3 for 2 on, on Spectrum Noir pens too and then what we're also going to be doing if you buy someone a gift card we're going to give you fiver to spend on yourself we'll send you a fiver voucher to just purchase one of our gift cards with whatever quantity on there and then you yourself will get a fiver to spend on our website on crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu I will share all the details for the craft along just within the next hour once I get home here in the UK Sarah's going to be on QVC UK so you'll see that on all TVs uh, platforms and then if you are watching out of the world you can see on their website have a lovely night have a lovely rest of the day and we'll all see you tomorrow bye